Greetings, ladies and gentle players. It is another wonderful Friday this December of 2022, making it a wonderful day for basics. I'm over here mindlessly look, uh, aligning my board to a Fordon game, apparently. But as I am over here on the OGS, and I thought I would go ahead and get myself a game against a 1Q today. That's right, 1Q. Because this month is going to be ending soon. Only one Friday left. So before I go back down. And, you know, do some 5Q and maybe some 10Q basics game. Because I've been been neglecting y'all a little bit. Last, uh... About today, we go ahead and play ourselves a 1Q, because it occurred to me I can't just play 1Dons in explaining how are y'all getting the 1Dons. Because that means if you could beat all the 1Dons, you'd be 2Don. I wasn't thinking. I wasn't thinking. But today, we're going to go ahead and give you the gift of understanding 1Qs. That's right. That's what we're going to do. Game started. All right, got ourselves a game against the one Q here. So what do we have to see? Well, I'm going to play a three four because he did double four four. I could do double uh, four four as well, and then we could see who is the best four four of them all. Um, I'm able to go ahead and pincer here because I feel like I've done an inordinate amount of attaching. And pincering is a thing that can still happen, so let's go ahead and showcase that. And then we'll do a little one-point jumpy doodle, because nice simple variation. I like picking nice simple variations. It's okay to pincer, you can even ask the AI, as long as you have something nice and simple in mind. And this is fine too. So it kind of like breaks up the monotony of playing like the games where they like go with this into this, and then maybe you uh, approach, and then like they back off, and you know, you kind of go back into this kind of thing. Like, you probably all have played games like this before. It just kind of breaks that up, kind of. Gives for different variations. That's all we're doing. That's all we're doing. Unfortunately, the one Q does not know Jiseki. Admittedly, this is the danger of why I usually avoid playing pincers, because there's always the threat that your opponent doesn't know how to respond to them. Unfortunate. I will defend from not letting him kill my stone for no reason. Sorry, I will. I hope he kicks me first, because if he doesn't, I have to decide if I'm going to actually be uploading this game. Because if I get this position here, he's not alive in the corner. And at that point, uh, I mean, I can make an entire game out of just harassing this upper left-hand corner. He's pincering me. Remember, he's not alive in the corner, so I will be jumping out. I could give this to him, though. Uh, certain people say I've been turning too aggressive in my basics games and that they're indistinguishable from Murder Monday. Un... That is some serious on Forge. So I guess maybe I could, in the spirit of the season, I could back off here. Because honestly, if the stone dies, it doesn't really matter. But, I mean, there's no reason to get up the stone either. Yeah, I mean, you jump out from a pincer, what can I say? I have a base here, he doesn't have a base here. There's no reason not there's no reason to care. Two space, I can cut that immediately. Cause again, the whole not alive thing. I'll just jump out instead. He can't surround or attach because we just cut through him and then the corner dies. So it's not an issue. Okay. Okay, this is a kind of interesting. Now I have two ways to defend against this move. I could play here, which is standard. What's kind of interesting is I could also play here. Doesn't that look like a little weird? But you can see if he pushes, we block, and we're still fine, right? And you can see that if he plays here, we're okay here as well. Just take note that he gets 8 if we play this way. He gets to play 8, because if I do something like this, there's things into here. It gets, it gets a little bit more complicated. So that's why I'm not going to. But if you wanted to have some fun and extend here, you can go ahead and do that too. It's all gravy. Important point of this game is that you are having fun. If you are not having playing, if you are not having fun playing the game, anyone who watches you play will have no interest in playing the game, right? You yourself probably won't keep interest in playing the game. And uh, yeah, Go's gonna die. So 
the important thing for you, whatever you're doing, however you're trying to improve, always make sure you're playing the moves that you enjoy playing, not the moves that, you know, the AI told you you have to play or whatever. As long as they're rational, as long as they're making sense, as long as they're doing the thing that you're trying to do that move, have fun playing it. Have fun playing it. Knock yourself out. So we could attack here. I won't yet, but I probably wind up doing that. He hasn't defended here, unfortunately, because there's this into this. There's no defense against it. Right? So he's trying to attack me and kill me from a position that is weak and has a cutting point. Well, that is a hum. That is a hmm. Ain't that interesting. So let's go ahead and cut this small night. I've been teaching. The reason why a lot of my uh, games in the basic series right now have been more aggressive is simply because I have been focusing on cutting points and shape a lot the past couple of months. That's why they look a lot alike. That's why I look alike to my Hydon games as well. Because you would expect that. I'm using the exact same principles to kill six Dons as I would against the Q. It's just that in the olden days, when I first began the basic series, I'd be like, you know, maybe you don't know you can cut through a small knight, which is something that you gotta work on, but maybe you don't know that you can do that. So we're just gonna go ahead and come on out here. And then maybe he doesn't know that this isn't alive, so even if he plays over here, we'll just go ahead and split, and so on and so forth. We, like, bend over backwards, not killing our opponent, not taking out uh, shape moves, you know, things like that. Only, uh, right now... Yeah, I kinda... Kinda doing that. Because that's how, that, that's how you can pretty much kill every rank. You can kill Shinjin So the same way. Disconnecting. Very, very important. Very, very important. Keep the weak group separated. At this point, I'm immortal, though, which is bad for him. This won't die. He needs to be exceedingly careful. Sir. Okay, about to say. Now, from here, you can see that, oh, my position is really, really good. And you might be thinking to yourself, if you're five Q or whatever, like, oh, I could never do this against a one Q. Well, the question is, why? What did I do that was so insane? I, I cut through a small knight. Like, if you're a Q player... And you're like, yeah, I could never get in this position against a 1Q because I don't know that one, uh, that I'm not, you know, confident that small knights can be cut. Well, then that's what you need to work on. That, that's what you need to be working on. Like, this is, this is what you should, you should be like, dude, this, yeah, that right there. I'm going to implement that in my games from now on. And you're going to, you're going to start seeing stuff go, uh, through the roof for you. As long as, of course, you're strong on the outside. If this was like, let's give an example right here. If, uh, hello? Yeah, if like this wasn't here, I wouldn't really try that because I'd be like, well, what if he just goes and kills me instead? Well, that's uh, kind of bad, right? Like I can only do this because I'm strong. That said, I'm not going to go and harass things too much. I will push him into connecting to this because right now you would normally not do this one. You'd be like, hey, do this one. And then they do something over in here into here. And then we'll play like something over into here. I just keep playing the surrounding game and all the things, and that would look a bit more old school with how the basic stuff series used to be. Just continuing to surround things over and over and over and over and over and over and over again. But, mmm, gotta be careful. He's playing too fast. I should be here because my shape here is strong. So if he approaches it close, what am I gonna do? Obviously, I'm throwing in. If I'm strong and you give me a weakness next to my strength, I'm going to go into it. Right? 
It just makes sense. Why wouldn't you? If that's another one of your weaknesses, it's like, yeah, I don't do that. It's like, okay, why don't you do that? It's like, maybe you're having trouble identifying your groups that are strong, and then you need to work on that. Now, admittedly, this I don't play in my games. I always play this one because it creates cutting points. This one, I'm actually get it being very nice to him on. I'm being very, very, very nice to him on this one. He should play here. Yeah, that should be here because I can't exactly do this, can I? Like, what am I going to do? I'm going to get killed or something. It's uh, kind of eeks. Instead, we're playing here, which allows me to play this one. And then if he plays there, I can go ahead and honey and connect back, which I never should have been able to do. Should not have been able to do that one. Mm -mm. Mm. This stone's already connected to a live group, so I could extend here and fight this. But I feel like maybe that's getting a little bit too aggressive for some of y'all's tastes for basics. I'll go ahead and, I'll go ahead and play here. I have the entire right hand side. It's only third line, not the best, but you know, it's points. I'll take it. Are you going to extend here? He is. Okay. I'm going to do one defensive move. Make sure he can't 3-3 three, three me or anything like that. And it does highlight the fact that this group is literally undercut and I can just like plop a stone right there whenever I feel. And we're good. So I need more territory than this section here. So it's like what is this going to be? If I shoulder hit it, maybe 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, let's say 15 points, 15 points. Maybe he's got 30. Nothing to work on. Your group is literally under. Literally. Right? Right here. Base isn't good. If you're playing away from it, so it's going to keep you at a down level. If you try to pretend that, oh, you know, weak groups, yeah, they don't exist. And then your defense of your weak group is whatever this shape is supposed to be. Like, it's not a, it's not a one point jump. It's not even a small knight. It's not even a large knight. It's just it's whatever this is. Obviously, we separate it. Because if a small knight can be cut and a large knight can be cut, Whatever that was supposed to be. Oh yeah. That ain't connected to anything. This is just shape. This is just basic shape. Alright, left's dead. I know he's growing, but it doesn't matter. I'm not greedy. He did a one point jump right in front of my poke, so guess what? I'm cutting. Didn't even have to read it. Why not? Why not? Why would you have to read that? Because this is already strong, and this is already strong. So just like I did over... Crap, where did I do it? Uh, Here, yeah, just like I did over here. If I'm strong, he's got a cutting point, and he's got an area to cut. He's, I'm, I'm just going to do it. Um, Last chance to try to do something here. He's got to defend, or we're cutting him. So, I like that he's trying to get a lot of points. That's really, really nice. Unfortunately, unfortunately, cutting points matter. So, I'm going to ignore this because the one stone is smaller than the huge area that he's trying to get for himself, right? The question is, how much is he giving up to take this area? Looks like all of it. Now, mind you, while I'm doing this, I'm not going to be making the same mistake, right? I am reinforcing. But yes, this is why some people have felt lately that some of my basics games feel similar to my high Don games. Because once you start recognizing shape, and big moves, good job, you're a Don player. Right? My lion? My lion? So, yes. 
Sometimes that will be the case. 100%. This is just a whole bunch of things that don't work. Unfortunate for him. There's, there's nowhere to go. I reinforce this specifically so nothing here worked. Right? I just defended my shape for literally this reason. Now, if I had not done that... Oh yeah, he's got stuff here, don't he? Uh-huh. Absolutely, that's, that's why I defended myself. Like, yeah, that, that, that's the whole reason for all of this. Without a doubt. Without a doubt. I will admit, I don't want to take my entire corner, so I'll tap it. Um, <clears throat> make sure he can't do weird jumps and things, because I don't know if we can just drop down, so it's fine. Keep taking the big point, big point, big points. Uh, okay. Bum, bum, bum. Uh, I don't know. Take that, because I can go ahead and cut through. Don't ignore it. I'll cut you. Warned you. I warned him. Y'all you you heard me warn him. Cutting point, cutting point, cutting point, cutting point. Look at that. That's one, two, three, four cutting points. He didn't defend to take points. So yeah, I'm cutting him. Now, I'm going to do this the way you're not supposed to. I could get away just by going and playing here immediately and going to the end of the sequence. But I'm going to I'll do it the the, the disgusting way. Do it the disgusting way. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. There. Don't have to play all that. You can get to the end of the sequence and play it first. Without having to do all that stuff. But yeah, so he just took this. So that was like, what, one, two, three, four, I don't know, five something. But that's two, four, six, eight. Minus the territory here. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. It's a lot, man. It is a lot. Speaking of which, hey, cutting point. go here first. It's kind of a big point. And let's go here, kind of big point, before he like, tries to hane or clamp or something. We're rapidly just going into endgame. That's why I'm playing some endgamey moves. Byo -yo -mi. Byo -yo -mi. Let's go ahead and take these two. Because again, it's just Cuts. This cut point ensures that these three stones are dead. I think. I may be mistaken about that. <laughs> I may be... Okay, I'm mistaken about that. Sorry. Like, uh, yeah, uh, uh, it's fine. But hey! Unexpected benefits. I can poke at this. Go ahead and ride that on up in here. What else can we do? Just just look at shapes. Just look at shapes. Look at knights, small knights, one space, two space extensions. Okay, not not one space usually. We're looking for things that we can we can cut and see if they have any value to us. It's like here, here, here. Nah, probably not. Here? Oh, here. Okay, yeah. Yeah, see? Two space suddenly click. I'm strong here, I'm strong here. Like, oh, okay. Now this makes some more sense. Because if you don't protect your cutting points, guess what we're going to do to you? Fixing shape. So yeah, this game looks bloody AF. But all I'm doing is showing you why all of, all of, uh, like every teacher, if they actually want you to improve, tell you what? 
Cutting points. Gotta watch out for them. Shape. Yeah, small knights, large knights, things like that. Yeah, I gotta watch out for those cutting points. And I could sit here in basics, again, like I used to do, and let them get away with all of this. And I probably will be doing a little bit of some of that next year. But, if you want to be Dom level, you got to recognize, at the end of the day, shapes are things that matter. They do. You know? I mean, you want to go ahead and save our stone? <laughs> Let's go and save Billy. We're not leaving any of our men behind, sir. But what about all of them? They, you left them behind. I were just demonstrators. It's fine. They were paid actors. Don't worry. They're, they're, they're fine. They're fine. Nothing bad happened to them. <laughs> Go ahead and take some uh, extra stuff over in here. Mm-hmm. Mm, Gote now, unfortunately. He has to play one more move, yeah. <sighs> but yeah, being a Don player is really that simple. I have a good eye for what's uh, big and what's small. That way, you know, you have a pretty good idea what you're using Sente for. And you have a pretty good idea why you want to fight for Sente. Couple that with, um, hold on, with some big moves here. Um, no, I literally don't know. Bad, I guess. Couple that with, uh, knowledge of cutting points. Congratulations. Do those, put those together. You're done, player. That's all it is. That's all it is. Not anything more complicated than that. Now, while you're doing that, you can add, you know, dash as a complication here and there. Like, ooh, I like playing this way. Like, well, what way do you like playing? Um, well, I really like playing, you know, for influence here. Like, okay, you like you like uh, the more influential games. All right, well, you'll keep these in mind and you can play for this. Or you might be like, you know, I really like, uh, you know what I really like? I really like, uh, I really like playing that new stuff. Like, okay, you can play that new stuff. And then keep in mind, two is, I mean, it's one point. It, uh, sure. Well, but yeah, you can do that while keeping in mind the other stuff, you know? Like, you can take risks while you're keeping the other stuff, you know, the forefront of your mind. That's all. It's just that occasionally, as you get stronger, you start forgetting some of the more fundamental aspects. In an effort to play faster, for example, you might decide, ooh, I'm gonna... What am I gonna do? I'm gonna not protect this cutting point, or I'm gonna... I really want to try to do something, so I'm going to run with a small knight. Or, ooh, I know that's a large area, so I'm going to... I, I got to get a, like a two-space or a three-space extension on in there to try to do something. And that winds up hurting you, you know? It winds up hurting you. All right, so he resigned, because I am uh, about 30 points up. Sounds about right. So the question is, how did that happen? Well, happened very straightforward, didn't it? We played the, the Jiseki here. It's supposed to be like this one, this one, this one, like there into there, and then I would go ahead and play there, and then we'd continue onwards. But sure, he got this one wrong, and then he pincered me. Unfortunate. I tried to defend like he was at some point he was aware that the two-space extension wasn't very good but unfortunately he still left this behind and then again same thing here there's a three space we can go ahead and 
do a whole bunch of stuff on into here as a result. He tried to attack something with a weak shape. So I'm like, hey, knock that off. Can't do that, buddy. Um, he could have gone here. Might be thinking, like, what if he did this? The answer is pretty straightforward. We just go ahead and plug this way. And then if he tries to kill me, well, that would be the uh, last thing that he remembers doing this game. Because he dies in the corner. Right? Because he's cut. Whatever you want to do with it, he's cut. Sorry. You're cut. Um, here, I probably could try to kill this into this. He plays there. Um, it looks like Ko for uh, Life in the Corner at that point. So I could play a bit more aggressively here. I didn't, because meh. Plays there. Again, same thing. You go ahead and play here, separate this, attack. Use your influence effectively. That should have been there. Make sure I can't come in. That should be a Hane, because after this point, we've got multiple cutting points to deal with later on. And as I told you repeatedly, it's all about them cutting points. Here, defended. Kept the weak group separated. He gave a new weakness, so we're like, okay, we'll take that too. Thanks. Really needs to defend here, but he was worried, of course, that if he did something like that, maybe I would get in a free reduction here. Because he'd have to find some way to disconnect two from connecting back, so maybe he thought that was a little too slow. I don't know. But yeah, very, very simple, straightforward game of just paying attention to cutting points. It's all we were doing over and over and over and over and over again. Like, how did this get cut off initially and it forced us to live in the in the, live in the middle of nowhere? Cutting points. Here, cutting points. This area, cutting points. See? So yeah, I will be doing some games where they're not as aggressive as this. If you could even call this aggressive, because I didn't really ever attack him, did I? Not really. Like, it's, in my mind, an attack would be going over here to forcefully disconnect and try to kill something. In my mind, an attack would be... God, I don't know. If I had, like, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Risen up here... Disconnect this, try to kill something, or I don't know. This was a little bit aggressive, just because he never defended himself. But yeah, most of this is just more defensive than anything. Anyway. Hope you enjoyed this game. Hope a lot of y'all are getting stronger and stronger this year. And if not, you'll get it next year. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about a thing. Either way, I hope you guys are having a fantastic holiday. Thanks for everyone who's supporting me both here and on Patreon. And as always, I'll see you next time. Take care, everybody.